Hello everyone, this is Funny. You are watching Funny Hitches Info. Today, I am going to talk about industrial ventilation. The main contents in this topic are what is industrial ventilation? What is the purpose of ventilation system? Why have an industrial ventilation system? Basic types of ventilation systems. Key elements of ventilation system. Types of LEV hoods and how to manage LEV system effectively. First of all, what is an industrial ventilation? Ventilation is the mechanical system in a building that brings in fresh outdoor air and removes contaminated indoor air. In a workplace, ventilation is used to control exposure to airborne contaminants. It is commonly used to remove contaminants such as fumes, dusts and vapors in order to provide a healthy and safe work environment. Ventilation can be accomplished by natural means, example opening a window or mechanical means, example fans or blowers. Next one, what is the purpose of a ventilation system? The main purpose of ventilation system is to provide a continuous supply of fresh outside air, maintain temperature and humidity at comfortable levels, reduce potential fire and explosion hazards, and remove or dilute airborne contaminants. Next one, why have an industrial ventilation system required? Ventilation is considered an engineering control to remove or control contaminants released in indoor work environments. It is one of the preferred way to control employee exposure to air contaminants. The other ways to control contaminants include the first step elimination, eliminate the use of hazardous chemicals or material, second one substitute with less toxic chemicals, third one process change or work practice change. These are the other controls. Next one, basic types of ventilation system. There are two types of mechanical ventilation system used in industrial settings. First one, local adjust ventilation captures contaminants very near the source and exhausts them outside. Second one, dilution. Ventilation reduces the concentration of the contaminants by mixing the contaminated air with clean, uncontaminated air. Next one, the key elements of ventilation system. Local adjust ventilation system will generally made up of five key components. First one, a hood or nozzle positioned close to the source where the contaminant is captured into the LEV. Second one, a ducting, which can be either flexible or straightened pipework that channels the contaminated air to the specific exhaust point. Third one, a filter if it is not practical to exhaust the contaminated air straight into the atmosphere, we can use filters. The fan and motor that draws the contaminated through the extraction system. Finally, the adjust point. This is where tracted air is released into the safe place. Types of LEV hoods. An LEV system won't be effect if the hood doesn't capture and contain contaminated air. There are two types of hoods, capturing hoods and enclosure hoods. Enclosure hoods. Enclosing hoods such as glow box and spray booth enable contaminated air to be contained. A glow box protects the operator and prevents the contaminated air from entering the work area. A spray booth is specially designed enclosure in which the operator works and contaminated air is contained. We have to remember that spray booth operators need to wear appropriate personal protective equipment. Capturing hoods. Capturing hoods are the most common type of LEV hoods. The work occurs outside the hood. This type of hoods require the LEV system to generate 
enough air flow to draw in the contaminated air. There are several types of capturing hoods on tools, mobile capturing hoods, fixed, portable or flexible capturing hoods and extracted workbenches. And finally, effective management of LEV hoods. First of all, appoint a responsible person to ensure the system remains effective. Making sure your workers are trained in working safely with the system. Third one, replacing moving parts such as fans, bearings that wear out and non-moving parts such as hoods, ducts and seals. Ensuring that workers report defects in the system. Arranging for an industrial ventilation engineer to service the LEV system. Keeping records of competent checks and maintenance. And regular checks on static pressure readings, ducts and hoods for damages, visible leakages, filter system conditions and manometers easily read and indicating correctly or not. This is about the basics of industrial ventilations.